Leading mining company Sabanya Stillwater is setting industry standards and trailblazing with new technologies and initiatives to underpin the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Since its inception in 2013, CEO Neil Fronemann has transformed Sabanya Stillwater from a South African gold mining company into a multinational diversified mining and metals processing group. The company is pioneering sustainability, stewardship and environmentally focused mining with community and ecology at the heart of what Sabanya Stillwater does. Thank you for joining us, Neil. Sabanya Stillwater has made considerable strides in committing to solving climate change and global sustainability. Could you outline for us the core objectives and strategies the company has adopted to integrate this focus into the business strategy? Absolutely, and uh, hi, Benham. The company's purpose is about safeguarding global sustainability through our metals. There's another part to our strategy, which is really our vision, which talks about creating superior value for all our stakeholders. Those two combined um, really encapsulate our commitment to um, sustainability and environmental upliftment. We're a unique mining company because of the combination of metals that make up our portfolio. they green metals predominantly, so it's the PGMs which underpin the hydrogen economy somewhere in the future, but right now play a role in cleaning up gasoline engine exhaust emissions. We have a portfolio of battery metals uh, and that combined with PGMs gives us that unique uh, green metals uh, profile. There is no other mining uh, company with that combined portfolio and the expansion into secondary and urban mining. Now tell us more about the importance of stakeholders to Sabanya Stillwater and how they impact your vision for the company. Absolutely, and it's a good question. The, the vision, as I said, is about creating superior value for all our stakeholders, and it's best explained through what we call our Mdoni tree. The way we use that tree really defines the ethos of the company, but it also defines um, what we call a, a shared value model. The roots of the tree are our values, and even our values will indicate the type of company that we are. So we talk about I cares. The I stands for innovation, the C stands for commitment, A for accountability, R for respect, E for enabling, and S for safe production. So those are the roots of our tree. The trunk of the tree is our people. The people give the company strength and direction. The canopy of the tree incorporates the environment and our stakeholders. A healthy tree will have a, a canopy consisting of the environment, communities, government, employees, shareholders, and so on. We have also gone about defining what is superior value for each one of those stakeholders. And if the tree is really healthy and it's nurtured and it's nourished, it'll produce fruit. And that fruit is the superior value. So, and that's the way we think about business. You're historically a gold mining company, but how is your existing portfolio of metals and operations diversified to address the challenges the climate faces. In about 2014, we started looking into expanding our business into PGMs. And in doing that, we had to understand the supply and demand side of PGMs. You start understanding global mobility and the way the global carpool will evolve. And we recognized early on that battery electric vehicles were going to make significant inroads. This was a long way ahead of, I suppose, what has become popular now in terms of um, uh, renewable energy and so on. And we made a decision after we had completed building our PGM portfolio to enter the battery metal space. And that uh, we, we did from 2021. And um, the pivot really redefined the company as a unique producer of green metals. Sabanya Stillwater operates in various regions with diverse socio-environmental contexts. How do your strategies vary globally to accommodate the specific needs of the locations while still aligning on sustainability goals? In each region, there are different um, requirements uh, in terms of sustainability. And for instance, in South Africa, there's huge unemployment and therefore sustainability and the interest of communities is focused on jobs. 
in the US, we operate in an environment which is pristine. In fact, there's negative unemployment in the region that we're in. So it's not so much about jobs, but it's about the environment. That requires a very different approach. In Europe, uh, and for that matter in North America, it's more about being part of ecosystems, providing solutions uh, to supply chain. The way we manage that is we've regionalized our management model. Our regional offices understand the culture, they understand the requirements in those different regions. And that's the way we deliver into our sustainability goals is on a regional basis, obviously encapsulating the global uh, framework uh, embodied within the group of the company. Thinking about changes in technology over the years, what advances are Sabanya Stillwater utilizing to optimize the organization's environmental impact? We pride ourselves on being a digital first organization. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that you embody modern management methods, you embody digital applications in technology, in terms of machines and so on. You can see it primarily in terms of we adopt virtual work methods where it's appropriate. Socially, that has very significant benefits uh, for our employees that can work from home. Um, their social um, benefits with their, um, their families are improved. They're reducing their emissions by not traveling. Um, there's a safety element in cert certain regions. In terms of um, other initiatives, we, for instance, uh, collaborate with Wits University and we have a digital mining laboratory where we use that type of laboratory to improve um, the use of data, artificial intelligence, um, and safety underground. As I say, there's a long list, but I, I think at a high level you get, um, you get the picture of, of being um, digitally focused and doing the right things, reducing our emissions at a, at a production level. Environmental sustainability is a key aspect of the United Nations SDGs. Please tell us about the measures Sabanya Stillwater has implemented to minimize the environmental impact of your mining operations. We are very focused on emissions at an operating level. Now, our biggest production base is in South Africa, where our single biggest exposure is energy and electricity, which is unfortunately generated using coal. So, of course, the more we can do to offset dirty electricity, um, the more we can impact on uh, getting to, to net zero. So we have 407 megawatts of renewable energy projects currently under construction. That's the third biggest in South Africa. It will eventually accommodate 70% of the energy we use and it will be the single biggest offset um, against um, um, greenhouse gas uh, emissions. We obviously uh, are intensive water users, so r reducing water usage is, is critical and we've made huge advances in that respect. There's a lot of nutrients in our water which uh, um, through various extraction processes we produce uh, fertilizers and again many many other initiatives you can get a sense of how we think and how we operate from that brief overview. And lastly, Neil, looking to the future of the company, what emerging initiatives are you most excited about the potential of? And how will they make a difference to the challenges discussed at COP this year? Well, well certainly the single biggest issue that the world faces is global warming. And we all have a moral duty to find solutions and assist and ensure that we don't, do not exceed the one and a half degrees C that we know is important. The biggest contribution we can make is by growing our portfolio of critical metals to ensure that there's adequate metals to use in technologies to limit um, greenhouse gases.